That's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son, through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, elders, the great millstone for teaching us to 100% truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all you Akiyam and you Akwa, those are the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. January 1, first day of the so called new year. And uh, there's a lot of things happening. The Lord is making clear indications that. He's about to come back. He's about to destroy this place, man. Destruction is here. January 1st, the so-called New Year 2024 says uh, 7.6 quake rocks central Japan triggers major tsunami alert and fire. And I'm not going to read the whole article. I'll get the first paragraph here. It says Tokyo, an earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 7.6 rocked a wide area. Uh, on the Sea of Japan coast uh, Monday, triggering a major tsunami alert and fire in the central prefecture of Ishikawa. Ish Ishikawa. At least two people fear dead and crimping the, fest the festive mood of New Year's celebrations worldwide. Yeah, the Lord is taking the mirth away from this place. The Lord is bringing constant judgments and destruction. And so these people are, are uh, you know, not going to be able to enjoy or be comfortable. The Lord says he's going to bring great miseries in his last days. When you read St. Matthew uh, chapter 24, verse 6, I'll hit the point. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And these are signs that Yahweh Shai told the disciples to look forward to look forward to which are signs of the end times or right, the end of a uh, wicked rulership and the ushering of the kingdom verse 7 says so it's going to be wars and rumors of wars which we are you've been watching the news you already know what time it is verse 7 says for nation shall rise against nation it's getting ready to be a uh, a major uh civil unrest and war uh, with the people against one another and in different categories, whether it be um, race against race, gang wars, gender wars, class wars across the board, different categories. All right. And the other thing is, it says, and kingdom against kingdom, which kingdom against kingdom represents uh, World War Three. All these nations are rising up and picking a side to go against each other. It says, and there shall be famines, shortage of food. Pestilences, diseases, and this is the point, and earthquakes in diverse places. These are major signs. And today was an indication of what? <laughs> that while these people were uh, hungover or celebrating this uh, so called New Year, the Lord in return responded <laughs> with this great magnitude 7.6. Damn, I hate these ads. No, the Lord is sending out signs, letting it know clearly that uh, he's he's not pleased with this place. And regardless of your partying and mirthing it up, he's going to bring miseries upon this place. Uh, let me close out on second Ezra's nine and one. It says he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou see as part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, see, these are signs. It says uh, verse two. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Lord told Ezra, if you're measuring the times and you're keeping an eye on the things that are happening with what the prophet said would happen. OK, you're going to know that we are in those times or we're in that time, I should say, that the Lord is getting ready to come back. And in the process, of the Lord's return is going to be a lot of death and destruction. A lot of miseries and people are going to be uh, uncomfortable, even if they're seeking for comfortability and uh, happiness. It's not going to be any happiness, man. Verse three says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and this is the point. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So this earthquake was a clear indication that we are in the end times another reminder for those of us that are measuring the times so 
we we do it we, we came out we came into uh the so-called new year many of us doing videos live streams uh going into from you know 11 p.m carrying over to 12 a.m you know telling you through the spirit that it's going to be great destruction and the lord responds with actually <laughs> bringing a heavy magnitude 7.6 earthquake and are you already know from from this uh, earthquake there's going to be people that are going to uh that have been uh put to death or stuck under rubble injured all these different things man so as i always say and we always say seek the lord while he may be found let me get that right quick because uh this is the year the hopeful year of jacob's trouble i'm so excited when i saw that title you know we need this thing to pop off man We're ready to get the hell up out of this uh, miserable taxing place Isaiah 55 and 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So this is the most important time to seek the Lord because every day gets more worse. Every day gets more, much more harder, oppressive, destructive, uh, sinister, wicked as hell. And eventually the Lord is going to take the, the, the prophets off the highways and byways from preaching and pushing our edification and those that don't have it, you're gonna get stuck in the matrix to only be get uh, to only be prepared for judgment. All 